Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought today I would do a little, um, kind of like a haul, but I'm not unboxing it at all. I've already started unboxing it, I've started using some of it, but I thought I would just show you some of the things that have arrived recently. Um, I normally do this sort of thing on Instagram, but um, I just thought it would be interesting to do it here. I know I've done like unboxings of planners and of fountain pens before, uh, but I've not actually done sort of like a collective. These are some things that have arrived recently, so I thought I'd do that today. Um, these were a couple of different places, from a different couple of different places, so um, I'll run through as I talk about them. And obviously I've, t I've opened everything already really, um, but I just thought, I'll show you what I've what I've picked up recently um, because I just think it's interesting to sort of see what things people have been um, adding into their collection that they maybe don't show quite so often I suppose um, but yeah so I'm gonna start actually with um, these two because these arrived um, first actually um, and then I will talk about the other things um so these are actually um I wasn't I wasn't sure whether to show these because I'm actually going to be um receiving replacements for them um because the the company I bought them from is absolutely lovely um these are two B6 slim notebooks so this one I have actually cut down and I did it really poorly I don't know if you can see it's not actually straight because uh, my I hadn't set my um my trimmer up properly uh, which is frustrating but never mind um so yeah the b6 slim and i was stupid i didn't realize that b6 slim is actually um it's not just b6 but slimmer <laughs> um this is a strategy b6 that i've cut down and you can see they're actually a different height um so if you are new to the b6 and b6 slim kind of sizes just be aware that the b6 slim is a little bit shorter let me show you so you can see um i thought that they were going to be b6 um and i i offered to um i basically i contacted the shop and said hi can i return these i hadn't cut it yet obviously um i said hi can i return these and exchange them for the b6 version um and uh, they actually said do you know what we'll just send you the b6 version because um they said japan post is um a you know it's difficult to get things um sent over at the moment so um let me just tell you where i got these from what they are so they are da, 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 da. they're from um an etsy shop called uh, Dan, uh Dan, danica 58 um and they specialize in uh lay flat very large notebooks um for fountain pen friendly paper so I was looking for some notebooks um, that, well, I was looking for some notebooks that had paper that can uh, replace Tomoe River. Because obviously, if you um, if you're new here, you might not know, but if you aren't, then you'll know that my bullet journal that I'm currently using is um, Tomoe River paper, um, and the one that I've been using is actually a Nanami um, Seven Seas Crossfield um, in the A5, and when um i bought that one i originally wanted the studio note and uh, because it's got the 3.7 millimeter grid that the hobonichi uses um and i really really wanted the studio note and um the owner of nanami was like oh you know i found this new paper to replace uh Tomoe river it's going to be better it's better i think it'll be better than Tomoe river um and I, I emailed and sort of said, oh, you know, what, you know, what is making, because this was before it had been announced that they weren't going to be making it anymore. Um, but I emailed and was like, oh, um, you know, can I have a little bit more information about this paper? You know, like, is, you know, is it going to be, are you sure it's going to be better? And he was like, oh, you know, you just have to trust me. Like, I know what's best. <laughs> I was a bit peed off, to be honest, quite frankly, um, by that message. But hey-ho, uh, he's obviously learnt his lesson because when it arrived, um, when the... Um, studio note the new studio notes arrived with this new paper he's had to put a big thing on his website saying that it's not fountain pen friendly um the paper that he's used so i'd been doing some research i'd um, been listening to the um stationary cafe podcast and they were talking about these different papers that um that could potentially replace uh, timoe river um and they were talking about the cosmo air light paper 
Um, and then I heard someone else, I think it was, I don't think it was them, I can't remember actually, it might have been, uh, talking about the Tora Next paper. So I went about trying to find some notebooks that contain them, and um, this shop, uh, Danica58, um, which is based in Japan, they make these notebooks. So this one is the um, Cosmo Air Light, and this one is the um, Tora Next paper. They're both um, 300 and something pages. Let me just check how many the Cosmo Air Light is. <laughs> yeah, 320 pages. So they're both 320 pages. Um, obviously I've trimmed this one, but um, this one I got in a grid because they didn't have a um, dot grid of it. And then this one I got in the dot grid. Um, and I think actually from from you know looking at them both, I am going to pen test them. I haven't pen tested them yet, uh, but I am going to pen test them. I think I prefer the Cosmo Air Light to be honest. Um, it's got a slightly warmer tone. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera. Let me put them next to each other. Can you see it's got a slightly creamier colour to it, um, which I'm I'm used to from using the Tomoe River. So I think the stark white of the Tora Next. Um, it's just a little bit cool. Um, I do like that they've got the different um, different cardstocks on the on the front, so you can see the difference as well. Um, and the quality is really fantastic. They lay flat by, bound. Um, they've got rounded corners. Um, they yeah, they're, they're just they're really really nice weighty notebooks. Um, really thick, and yeah, I'm really happy. Um, obviously with the actual construction and the manufacture of the notebooks like I said I just I didn't realize that the size was different but honestly the customer service I can't fault it because you know I was saying oh you know I'll exchange them I'll send them back um, and they were just like oh no don't worry about it you keep them and um, we will we'll just send you some B6 ones um, so the reason that I've cut it down is um, might be evident from what these things are um, but I'm planning to um, use this as like a notebook to go alongside Hobonichi Weeks um, which I don't know if I'll have already posted the video about my Hobonichi Weeks not sure uh, but if not uh, there will be a video coming explaining um, sort of what why a Hobonichi Weeks entered my system and sort of what I'm planning to do with it um, so I have um, yeah so I basically I cut down I had this B6 Stalogy which I had used for part of the year last year um, which I, I tore the pages out um, and then I just stuck this page to the um, what's that called? <laughs> end paper um, just to seal up the, the messy gap um, so this is a, it's um, probably about the width of a half year to be fair no actually I think it's a little bit thicker than that um, and I'm planning to use this at the moment though I might actually just um, try and use this I did want something that was taller though. Um, I wanted to get the most vertical space that I possibly could um, because obviously I'm losing some width. Um, uh, so yeah, so I had sort of been planning to try using this, um, but really I, I I know people like this allergy paper and I think it's okay, but I do prefer um, a more fountain pen friendly paper. So. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with the construction and everything of these. I think they're great, um, and the customer service has been excellent. Um, so I'm just waiting for the uh, proper B6 ones to arrive. Um, they they ship via DHL, so again, really great. Um, and then once it's arrived, I'll be able to um, use those. So actually, let me just do a little pen test in the back. Um, of each one just to um, just so that we can see what the papers are like um, I'll do a fountain pen test I'll do um, a fountain pen, a gel pen um, I'll do a couple of different fountain pens actually Let's do a gel pen uh, that one's got my Sarasa dry refill in it and I'll do a Tombow swatch. Okay, so let's do. So let's start with the Cosmo Air Light, just because that's the one that I think I like the most. Um, I'm just going to go. So 
so this is the now what did it say it is 75 GSM so it's a bit thicker um, but I think that's fine to be honest um, let's try it with this one is my Pilot Custom 83 um, which I get people asking because uh, obviously on my um, on my unboxing of this I said that it wasn't writing very smoothly um, I get people saying oh it's because you're not doing this and because you're not doing this um, oh I think you know loads of other uh, owners would disagree with you um, they might disagree with me but my verdict on this pen is it is only a buttery smooth writer when it's got pilot, pilot ink in it um, sorry if you don't agree but that is my verdict on this one <laughs> uh, I love this pen and I love it with pilot ink in it This I've got the Iroshizuku in this at the moment um, but I do not find it like the perfect writer if it's got any other make of ink in it and I've tried quite a few now <laughs> um, so that is my verdict on that one uh, so this one is the oh, I have not used this pen oh and the um, hang on let's try this again there we go This one has got, I believe, a Parker gel refill in. This is my Kaweco um, special, my brass special, and it just has a gel ballpoint refill. Yeah, so it's the Parker gel. Uh, but I have the Parker gel in the fine. I don't, um, I don't have it in the medium. I use the fine. Um, let me see if I have got a ballpoint. <laughs> oh, I've got my Gilio pen. That's got a ballpoint in. Let's try... Let's try that. And then let's do a little... Tombo swatch. There we go. So, there's my little swatches. Just try and get you to focus. There you go. So let's look at the back. So, actually, like minimal, minimal ghosting. Uh, obviously, there's a little bit of shadow. There's a little bit there, but it's not. And then um, where I've used the Sarasa and the ballpoint, there is a little bit of texture. I don't know if I'm going to be able to capture that. Maybe if you can just see, there's a little bit of texture there. Um, obviously front pressing through, but yeah, I think that's pretty good really. Um, I think this is definitely the paper that I'm going to enjoy the most, which is, which is good because they didn't have um, one of these ones in... B6 so they're sending me two of this one <laughs> uh, which is really really fortunate um, so uh, yeah I'm really I am um, I'm thinking I'm going to enjoy using those um, I will swatch in this one but I think what I might actually do with this one is um, maybe do it as a giveaway so um, but it will have a swatch in the back just so that you know <laughs> if you if you win this uh, it might it will have a swatch in the back a pen swatch in the back but never mind um so this one is the Tora next let me just write this down Let's see what it says so it's the Tora next 64.5 gsm Let's go in with the, um, so that's obviously my Pelican nib, which is a fine, but, um, no, an extra fine, sorry, but writes more like a, um, a medium. Um, let me zoom you in just a little bit. Uh, so this is the, um, eight, two, three, 
ones are fine. This one is the Zebra Sarasa Dry. Oh, and that's in a 0 0.4. This is the Parker Joe 0.55, the Ginio Ballpoint. I don't think I, yeah, I think I've just got rid of all of my ballpoints. <laughs> um, and then what do you see? We've got the the old Tombow there. So there's the uh, there's the old swatchy swatches, and then the back. Again, no real. Um, there's a little bit of ghosting, but nothing. You know, nothing really bad. Let me. I would say there's the ghosting is actually a little bit better on this one than on the Cosmo Airlight. Though it is, it's hardly noticeable to be honest. <laughs> and if you're used to Tomei River, then you're used to it a lot worse than this. Um, uh, the it doesn't seem to have um, put as much texture in, but I don't know if that's partly because obviously I was um, pressing quite hard to get the the Sarasa to actually write, so there isn't as much texture there. There's a little bit, um, a tiny little bit of raised like bumpiness, but hardly anything. Um, so yeah, so that's the di the difference, and then let me show you a close up of the actual swatches themselves. Get it to focus. Here we go. So I think probably the Tora next, you maybe get a little bit more shading maybe you see but then that might just be because of the, the letters that I was writing do a little um, this pattern is the best to do for that mat and then let me just be a little bit more intentional with there you go yeah. so that's a bit of a more <laughs> that's a fairer comparison I would say of the uh, of the old Tombow swatches there so I think you yeah they're sort of they're probably pretty they're, they're kind of comparable I think in terms of shading if that's what you're after with your fountain pens um so yeah, I really like both of them, um, but I do think definitely the colour of the Cosmo Airlight is definitely, I prefer this better. It's just a little bit warmer, um, and I've got used to that, so it's something that, um, that I prefer. I'm just going to just zoom you back out a little bit. Um, then let's do, uh, let's do this, um, and then we'll do this, <laughs> and then we'll do this. <laughs> um, I'm just going to leave them just, just there, just to tempt you. Um, so I made a little order with the journal shop um, which um, I have a like a referral code down below I always have it in the description of my videos um, which gets you some money off your for your first order I believe um, and I actually um, this order I was able to make with um, some of the referral points from you guys ordering from me so I just wanted to say thank you um, I still had to pay for most of this order but I, I did get a nice I did get a nice little reward um that I could use to help go towards some of it. So I picked up a couple of things. Um I went on because I wanted another one of these. So I have got one of these that I, I've got journaling stickers in to go in my journaling kit and like washi swatches and things. But I wanted one to put my minimal stickers in and I have already started um putting them in and um, just because I want something that I can take with me. Um, although I don't use that many stickers nowadays, um, I still want the the option, 
to use stickers if I want to um, and I don't I just didn't really want to be carrying lots and lots of sheets so I thought if I put my minimal stickers in here then they're all there ready to go I could just pull this out and grab a sticker if I need to um, so yeah so that's what I really went for and then I saw that um, they had a couple of things back in stock um, that I wanted from Hobonichi now they didn't have the cover that I wanted, the actual weeks that I wanted in stock. So I went with this one and I don't hate it. I don't love it as much as um, as the one that I want. I wanted the one that's got the tigers on it. Um, but I, um, but I do, I, you know, I think it's okay. I like it. It is kind of messing with my eyes a little bit and I imagine it will be mess messing with the camera <laughs> because uh, the lines are just so like, whoo. Um, but I do, you know, I do quite like it. Um, I would prefer the tiger one I think really but I kind of I wanted to order because these two bits were in stock and these two bits when I had wanted to order the tiger one weren't in stock <laughs> so I ordered the I ordered these two bits and I just thought right just get this one because the tiger one might not come back in stock and I didn't want to spend like a stupid amount of money having one cent from Japan just for it having a different cover um, so I went for this one. I mean, I might, you know, I've got three months until 2022. I might change my mind, sell this one and buy the Tiger one. We shall see. Um, but I wanted these two things, which these were, I, I've really struggled to get hold of one of these. And I've wanted one of these for ages. So this is uh, one of the Hobonichi stencils. And it's the one that is for the Hobonichi weeks, really. Um, it's coming up a little bit green on camera, actually. It is bright yellow. Um, and I wanted it just because it's slightly longer than the other Hobonichi stencils. So it's got it's a 12 centimetre rule. Um, it's still got the little check mark boxes that you can use. Um, let me see if I can get it to... Probably I'm not going to be able to get it to focus. Hang on. Let me bring, bring it up here and try and get it to focus. There you go, that's a little bit better. So yeah, it's got a 12 centimetre rule on it. Um, it's got the little check mark boxes um, and it's just, a be it's just a better shape really because it's long and skinny rather than being square. Um, so I just think it's slightly more practical. Um, but yeah, so I wanted one of these. Um, I've wanted one for ages actually. I wanted one even before I was using a Hobonichi Weeks. Um, but I was always I struggled to get one. I couldn't get one when I first ordered direct from Hobonichi. And I've um I've only ordered I've ordered direct from Hobonichi twice and both times I've struggled to get hold of one of these um and then regretted that I couldn't get one. Um and they're always out of stock everywhere. So when I saw that they were in stock on the journal shop I grabbed it and then the other thing that I wanted was a week size pencil board um, just you know because I, I need one <laughs> um, I don't have a week size pencil board so um, I decided to get the one for this year which is like a navy and a pink which doesn't really go with my color scheme but um, I don't mind you know my my cooking monster one doesn't really go with my color scheme either so it's not a problem and then the weeks. So I got the Hobonichi Weeks. This one is the... I, I like the ones that are the um, bow and tie cover. You know, like the fabric, the tie, the tie print cover. Um, the one that I have been using for this year is this one. This was an April start and it's got little camping icons on it. And I'm not going to lie, I am going to be um, sad when I'm not going to be using this one anymore because I love the cover. Um, I'm kind of tempted to cut out the pages and... <laughs> And keep the, just so I can keep the cover. They're just so pretty. Um, so yeah, I wanted the tie, the silk kind of tie um, cover. I went with a regular, not a mega. Um, and you might be thinking, well, why have you done that? And why didn't you just get the mega instead of using one of these and a notebook? But guys, this is three hundred and twenty pages. Um, a mega has two hundred and something note pages. So this gives me three hundred and twenty plus the seventy that are in the back of this. Um, and when I do my video explaining um, how I'm going to be using these, I'll explain what I what is going where, but um, and my reasonings why. But um, yeah, I don't. I'm, I didn't want a mega. I wanted a regular one. Um, and yeah, so I got this. I got the little plaid plaid pattern, um, which I'm sure I will warm to. Um, yeah. 
Uh, and then the final thing that I got from the journal shop is a bottle of ink. Um, so this one is... Uh, it's from Kyoto Ink, again, um, like my Moonlight Over Higashiyama. Uh, but this one is one of the Kayo Oto, Kayo no Oto ones, rather than the Kayo Iro. Uh, there's two lines, basically. Um, the Kayo no Oto um, have Japanese names rather than English names. And they are, uh, the colours are different. So this one is Yamabukiro, which... Um, was the one that I thought I'd ordered last time and I hadn't, I'd ordered Moonlight Over Higashiyama which is fine because I absolutely love that ink um, this is Moonlight Over Higashiyama by the way uh, Moonlight of Higashiyama, sorry um, and it's an absolutely stunning, stunning ink especially for autumn um, but I did also want this one <laughs> so um, I'm going to swatch it for you Ooh if I can get it open. Here we go. So this is kind of um, it's a kind of yellowy kind of colour. Um, just grab the box so that I can uh, write down what it is. I think I've seen people describe it as kind of like a harvest yellow because it's kind of like a greeny yellow um so this is Kayo no Oto Yama Bukiro oh no it's two eyes Yama Bukiro there we go so very pretty let me just get a so it's kind of like a golden yellow I would say um, but the yellow the uh, Kyoto inks like they never they don't when they dry they dry differently to um, how they first go on so interesting to see so let's bring it a little closer again the camera's kind of reading it a bit green at the moment I'll try and um, colour correct it and if I can't I will put a photo of what it actually looks like it's coming up really really like chartreuse on the on the monitor on the camera whereas it's actually like a um, almost like a slightly paler um, sunflower yellow it's a real it's a real yellow it's not it's not um, chartreuse at all I wouldn't say um, and then it kind of goes to a little bit more chartreuse and almost like a brown at this end um, but yeah I would say it's definitely a yellow which is what I wanted so I'm really happy with that um, glad to add that into my collection uh, this is my fat pen swatch book by the way if you've not seen me setting this up there is a video on my channel I will link it so that's my journal shop order Then, okay, so these are the two big things, really. Um, I ordered a new pen. <laughs> Let's do this first. Um, I ordered a pen. I ordered this um, quite a few weeks ago now, actually. It's a Pilot Vanishing Point, um, and I got the red and gold. Uh, it's a fine nib, and I ordered it from Pensachi, and... Um, it's sort of the first time that I've ordered from Pensachi and it's been a long time to arrive. Um, well, a long time to dispatch, actually, is is um, the actual difference. So, um, yeah, normally I order from Pensachi, it, it dispatches within like a day. This one, actually, it took, um, it took like the full 10 working days for it to dispatch. 
Um, and when I emailed them, they said that because of COVID um, and shipping, they've been having some issues uh, with getting like the production of fountain pens. Um, it's meant that it's harder for them to get hold of things as easily. So um, there are delays in shipping out fountain pens at the moment. Um, but to be honest, like ordering it from Japan, um, it costs so much less than ordering from within the UK that I don't mind um, shipped. This costs like what, 60, 70 pounds less than buying, in fact, no, even more than that, I think. Shipped, maybe it's a hundred and, oh, shipped, how much was it? I can't remember how much it was, um, but it works out substantially cheaper than if I were to buy this in the UK. And as much as I want to support um, UK businesses and things, that it, that much of a difference is just something that you just can't. <laughs> I just can't. I can't afford to absorb that difference, basically. Um, so I uh, so yeah, I got it from Pensachi, who again, like amazing service. Um, they are always really prompt with replying to emails and things and. Um, it's a really really lovely pen. Uh, one thing to note though if you are ordering a vanishing point from outside of the EU, um, if you order one within the EU then the converter um, unit, like the unit that um, that you put the converter into is uh, changed to the international standard one. Uh, whereas if you order from Japan or I believe the US and, and elsewhere, um, they leave in the Japanese converter system so the converter is harder to fill. Um, I posted on my stories, I don't know if you can still see, I've still got some of the ink on my hand. Um, filling this was an experience. <laughs> uh, it was it was a, uh, a learning experience so um, yeah it. I ended up resorting to using a pipette. Um, I would have used a syringe, a blunt syringe, but I can't even be trusted with blunt needles usually. So uh, I um, I used a pipette to fill the converter. At the moment, I've got Diamine Oxblood in here. So um, I should actually just, I don't know if, you know, I, I imagine most of you know what a Pilot Vanishing Point is, but it's basically, it's a fountain pen, but it's retractable. So it's got this really cool um, teeny tiny little nib look uh, that retracts into the body. And then inside there, is a little, um, let me see if you'd like to be able to, I don't think you'll be able to see it, uh, but in there there is like a little cover that um, that covers the nib, there you go, can you see it moving down, it's really cool. Um, I didn't realise actually how old these are, like they, these were first released in the early 60s, um, so it's pretty cool that they came out with this technology in the 60s and it's still, still going today, um, and I went for the red and gold I nearly bought this um, like oh, like two years ago in the blue and gold and something stopped me from pulling the trigger, I was like mm, no um, and then you know everyone was getting the matte black one but I just, I'm just not a matte black person sorry, I'm just, I'm just not really a black kind of like person, like when it comes to things like pens or planners and things, black just isn't really me. Um, so um, I was debating over what colour to get for ages. I really liked the Radon, but I didn't really want to spend that much money because I want this pen to be more of a workhorse. That's why I want a retractable fountain pen. It's so that this can be like a, you know, goes everywhere, kind of gets bashed about kind of pen. So I didn't really want to spend the money for the Radon. So I went with the red and I'm really happy with it actually. Um, I love it. I just, yeah, I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I prefer the gold to the silver um, accents. I, yeah, I just, I really like it. So um, let me just zoom you in and let's do a pen swatch. Let's do a, let me find. Um, at the moment it's got Diamine Oxblood in it. Ooh, that's not quite dry. Let me just blot. Just put that down. So yeah, it's got Diamine Oxblood. Um, in the pen. Uh, so this is the Pilot Vanishing Point. And it's an F nib and it is 18 
carrot gold. There you go. So I think all of the vanishing points have got the gold nib, um, even if it's been coated so that it's a different colour, I think it is actually a gold nib underneath. Um, and it does have a bit of flex to it, which is nice. Um, and yeah, it is a teeny tiny weeny little nib. It's so small. <laughs> like if I compare that to my 823, let me show you. It's just hilarious. Um, here you go. <laughs> nib comparison shot. <laughs> uh, focus. There we go. <laughs> I mean, you just like it's just insane, isn't it? Like the the size of that nib. Um, and inside it's just like really a long rectangular it is only that wide it doesn't get any wider when it goes inside so um, yeah it's just kind of cool and um, I wanted one just for practicality speaking just so that you know those instances where I, I need to grab a pen quick and write um, not having to unscrew a cap that I have to worry about or I don't want it to crack and things is going to be really practical so um, that's what I wanted this one for and I had originally thought that I was going to put black ink in it um, you know again to be practical <laughs> uh, but as I've said before I'm not a fan of black ink really I have it but I'm not a fan so I went with Oxblood which I think is like the next best thing really nearly put ancient copper in but ancient copper is just my Kawako's pen colour so yeah so there's a little let me just do a little close up on the swatch for you. The focus is so slow today. There you go. So, you know, I'm not getting this pen for it being particularly good at shading or anything like that. It's literally just function for this one. And then finally... Okay, let's zoom back out a little bit. <laughs> Here you go. So, um, obviously, if I am... Um, using, planning on using one of these, um, I needed a cover. So I um, I had actually, I've been using, I, have, I, I haven't, I don't know if I will have put this video up yet or not, um, but just to, a quick breakdown if I haven't, I've been using this um, since August as a small carry around planner um, for when my bullet journal's too big and I've just been really enjoying the size of it, how portable it is, how small. Um, but if I want to use this as my everything planner going forward, I will need something that I can shove papers and pockets and things in. Um, and that's partly why I went for this one, not the Mega, so that I can have a chunky notebook that's also got notes in. And then if I still, if I want to use just a small planner, I can take this bit out of said cover and to put it into whatever bag I'm using and um, yeah, and not worry about have I got everything that I need. Um, but yeah, you can see I've been using it since August. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of my biggest issue with my bullet journal is how big it is. I can't take it everywhere. Um, and sometimes I, I just need it with me so I can make a note of something and I, I miss not being able to have it. So yeah, changes are, are coming. But anyway, so I needed a cover. Um, Julio's website currently, I mean, to be honest, I think probably they're gonna do a restock. Probably Monday's restock will be Slimmer Punto's because I think it would be really weird to um, have, you know, the Hobonichi uh, releases have just happened and they've everyone's been ordering Hobonichis and then for their Apuntos to be literally like all but two colours out of stock um, so I am expecting a um, I am expecting them to restock but I saw this on eBay so I actually actually it was a lady on Instagram when I posted on stories saying that I was going to be looking for a slim Apunto um, she said, "Oh, by the way, have you seen this one on eBay?" And I had been checking eBay, but I hadn't this. One, I hadn't seen this one, so um, I actually put in a really cheeky low ball offer <laughs> because I could see that it had some unusual um, marks on the front, um, and it also didn't come with the warranty card and things. So I thought it was probably a good deal rather than a um, premium or a um, first quality. So I put in a cheeky low ball offer. <laughs> Because the starting bid on it was like £80. There'd been no bids yet. It got a day left to run, nearly. 
Um, so I put a, a, cheek, a cheeky offer in for 120 because I just thought, oh well, you know, I'd be willing to pay that for something that isn't perfect. Um, and yeah, then it got accepted. <laughs> I was really shocked. So this is uh, a slimmer punto in yellow. Hang on, let me just come a little bit further out. There we go. So it's in yellow. That was my, I, I wanted something that was a, a warm neutral. Um, obviously an undyed would have been like the dream, but I, I will only, like I know, I only really want to buy undyeds that are brand new. So that I, so that I know that the, the patina that they're getting is just from me. Um, so this one's yellow, so it's a nice neutral. Um, and I kind of, I wanted either yellow or, uh, not yellow, either a neutral or like green or rust or, you know, those colours that I like. Um, and yeah, so it's got some patina from use, obviously it's got the mark on the button, um, but the mark that I could see on the photos, which I don't know if you, it's not coming out quite as dark on camera, but there is like a, there's a patch here um, and a patch here where it looks almost like something's just been spilt on it. Um, but to be honest, I don't, I don't care. Like, you know, I, it's no secret that I am, um, I expect planners to be used. I expect them to get a patina. I expect them to get marks. Um, so I don't care. <laughs> uh, it might just actually be just patina from wear, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I put in a cheeky low ball offer and I got it for £120. Um, and it's really, yeah, I, it's, it's just what I wanted, what I needed really. Um, I don't, the thing is I don't want to, I don't really want to shell out for like a first quality brand new one. Um, and then I try it out and I actually, I'm like, no, I, I want my bullet journal back. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I, I was happy to start with second hand on this one. Um, I haven't decided yet what, obviously I'm going to be keeping my A5 Apunto, my undyed, sorry. But I might actually sell my Royal Blue, um, because I kind of... I kind of fell out of love with it. Like I got it because I thought, oh, it's practical because it's blue, but it's not really like my style is very much like I love neutrals. So it just wasn't, I mean, I loved it while I was using it. Um, but I very quickly sort of was like, hmm, I wish I was using, <laughs> using a neutral planner right now. Um, so I might sell it. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Um, if I do sell it, it would be on the marketplace anyway. But, so, yeah, this is my, this is the yellow. Um, if you've never seen a slimmer punto before, it's laid out just like a normal punto, but it's just slimmer. <laughs> so you've got your pockets, you've got your slip pocket, you've got your slip pocket, you've got the zip pocket, you've got a little secretarial, you've got your elasticated pen loop, slip pocket there, and you've got the big back pocket. Um, and this is why um, I don't think that I could ever really use anything but a Gilio, is because I'm just so... I love the pocket configuration in these. I love how many pockets there are down here to shove everything in. I love this little slip pocket. Um, I love that I can pop things in here. I love the little secretarial in the back. I use the little zip pocket because I always keep, um, I always keep a little bit of emergency cash in um, a little zip pocket here. I mean, if you wanted to, you could actually use this as a wallet as well. Like you could have your cards down here, cash in here, coins in here. Um, I don't plan to do that, but you know, you could do. Um, and the main thing for me is that big back pocket. I, I shove so much stuff in there that I just can't really be without it. Um, and I know that, you know, everyone likes the VDSs, but for me, having to pay extra to have a pocket put on the back, I just, uh, no. It makes them way more expensive than this to make them how I would want them. And um, I just like the wait time and everything. I just, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, and I don't like rounded corners. There you go. There's my controversial, controversial... Um, uh, moment there, controversial thing to say is I, I'm not a fan of the rounded corners, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the Slimmer Ponto. Um, I'm going to set it set it up in another video, not in this one, sorry, um, and sort of put my Hobonichi and things in it. But I hope you I hope you liked that little um, show off of the things that I have recently purchased um, and added to my planner collection. Um, I will, like I say, I'll be doing some more videos soon and I will hope to see you in those. If you did like this video, please do like and subscribe uh, for more planner art, um, generally my life content. <laughs> um, I've had, um, I've kind of, 
I've struggled recently to get um, to sort of stick to my schedule because there's been a lot going on in my life which I can't talk about just yet next week I can um, so hopefully I will be um, yeah in the next video I'll be talking about it and because it's going to mean that it's partly why I'm looking at changing my planners up a little bit as well uh, but yeah so anyway thank you for watching I will see you again soon and see you later basically bye <laughs>